If you want to stay naked, make sure to follow and subscribe to the Naked Man podcast wherever you get your podcasts. One of the biggest things that I see from people is people being insecure about their genitals. They don't feel like their penis is big enough or some folks feel like their penis is too big. Other people feel like their vulva is just ugly, which is something that we're actually taught to hate the vulva very rigorously in our culture. And then there's a lot of people who are intersex and who have a lot of genital shame as well because you know, they're told their bodies are not the norm when no body is the norm um, and all bodies are unique and beautiful. So I wanted to set the intention with this uh, body meditation to really focus on loving your genitals today. That's where we're going to focus on. Um, and so before even diving in, I'm going to be using words like genital and pelvis because this is a meditation open for anybody and however you identify, whether you have a penis, a vulva, or your intersex, and we should all be loving our genitals because our genitals love us. So wherever you are, if you are driving, please pull over if you can. And I welcome you to start taking some deep inhales and exhales at your own pace. If you want to close your eyes, you can do that as well. If you want your eyes to remain open, I invite you to have a soft focus on whatever is in front of you and continue taking a deep inhale at your pace, a deep exhale at your pace, another nice inhale and a louder exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. And once more at your pace, take a nice inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to imagine that you are having a conversation with your genitals. Imagine your genitals are a person a friend, someone who you're building trust with, but communication has been difficult, not because of you and not because of your genitals, but because of all the noise outside of your body that you don't have control over. As we sit with our genitals as our friend, I want you to imagine all the voices and messages that are not from your body are slowly winding down. They're becoming quieter. They're becoming softer. They aren't yours. And so they aren't relevant here. And take another big inhale at your pace. Another exhale at your pace. You and your genitals are friends. Take a moment to feel what friendship feels like. Friendship is appreciation, trust, love, connection. Take a moment to feel appreciation for you and your genitals. Appreciate the way your body looks naked. Appreciate the fact that you have genitals, that they can bring you pleasure. You can touch them. You can be with them. As you sit with your friend, your penis, your vulva, your groin. Let your genitals know that you're sorry for the times you didn't trust them. You're sorry for the times the outside noise made you think you weren't supposed to trust them or that you were already broken before you even knew what it meant to be whole.
take a moment to sit here and think about what trust means with this body part, your sex organ, a pleasure area, and an area that also gives you messages. Take a moment to forgive yourself for the times you misunderstood the messages from your groin. Maybe you had a rash. Maybe your penis wasn't working. Take a moment to realize that your genitals work exactly the way they're supposed to. And when your body is doing something that you don't understand, it's simply communicating with you. This is how we build trust with our friend that is our genitals. Think of the ways your genitals communicate with you. Are they telling you to slow down? Are they telling you that they need a break? Are they telling you that they need more appreciation? Take a moment and give your genitals the feeling and reassurance it might be telling you that it's been needing. Remember that you love your genitals and your genitals love you. You are connected. You were given this body, and it is the only body you have. Why not love it? Take a big inhale and exhale at your pace. What would you like to tell your genitals that you have not told them yet? Would you like to say, I'm sorry? Would you like to say, I appreciate you? Would you like to say, I love you? As you think of the message you would like to share, take a big inhale and on the exhale, imagine that feeling, trust, appreciation, love, floating down through your body into your groin, into this pleasure center. You can reconnect to your groin at any time. You can share love and establish trust with your groin at any time. Because no matter what's happening outside of your body, your groin loves you too. Take another big inhale and exhale at your pace. The dial that we turned down to mute of all the voices and all the messages outside of your body, you can imagine it returning, coming back up, and realizing those messages don't matter. They can be loud or soft. They can exist or not. But your conversation with your groin will always be sacred, and it is yours. And it is the only truth. Take a big inhale. Pay attention to the noises around you, the feeling of your body, and at your pace, open your eyes and give yourself a big hug for taking this moment to love yourself and to love your genitals who already always love you. (laughs) Thanks for listening to the Naked Man Podcast. What body parts are you learning to love? Share what you learned during your body meditation at Naked Man Pod on socials. If you want to stay naked, make sure to follow and subscribe to the Naked Man Podcast wherever you get your podcasts.